What's up, Kyle Kang? Welcome back to Statics. So we're doing this trust problem. So we're given this, this thing here, and we're told uh, we want to find the force in each of these three members. We want to state whether each one of them is in tension or if they're in compression. So there's also these two forces acting here with these two uh, forces acting. So let's go ahead and just get started. So we want to start where we have the most given information. So let's look at what we got. So point A, there is going to be two support reactions. And then there's going to be two forces in each of these members. So that's four unknowns. And if we're looking at a point, we can only do two equations. So we're not going to be able to solve it A. C, it has a roller. So there's going to be one support reaction and then these two forces. So that's still three unknowns. Uh, but we only have two equations to solve for it. So we can't start at C. But if we look at B, we have these two known forces and then these two support forces. So if we have two unknowns, we can solve for it with two equations. So let's start at B. Uh, so let's go ahead and draw a free body diagram. So first of all, we have force P1, which is going down here, and it is 200 pounds. Then we have P2, which is going straight this way, which is 500 pounds. Then we have these other forces acting at their angles. So let's go ahead and draw them. So first of all, we have AB. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna assume that it's in tension. We wanna assume that every one of these members is in tension. And the reason we're gonna do that is it's gonna just simplify things a lot. So let's draw it in tension. And if it's in tension, right, it's gonna be pulling towards the member. It's gonna be pulling you towards it. So if you rob it this way, this is force A, B, it's in tension. And let's just draw it as a three, four, five triangle. All right, we know that the ratio of it is three feet on the high bottom and four foot on the height. So it's gonna be a three, four, five angle. And our other force is also in tension pulling towards it. And this is gonna be force A, B. And then we know it's a 45 degree angle because its base is four feet and its height is four feet. So it's gonna act at that 45 degree angle. So the reason we drew both in tension is because if they are in tension, then we're gonna get a positive number and we'll know we got it right. What happens if they're in compression is we're gonna get a negative number. And if we get a negative number, that means that we just drew it drawing the wrong way, but it's actually just flipped 180 degrees the other way. And that means it's in compression. So I'll show you what that means when we get to there. So let's go ahead and solve for these two forces. So the first thing we can do is sum of the forces in the y direction is equal to zero. So let's do it. We have force AB is pulling in the negative, so negative force AB. Then we're gonna attach a four fifths to it because it's acting, it's a three, four, five triangle with the four in the y direction. So then we're going to subtract 200 pounds because that's pulling straight down and then we're gonna subtract I did not mean to draw this as A, B. This is supposed to be B, C, look bad. So then we're gonna subtract force B, C. And then because it's a 45 degree angle, we can attach a sine or cosine. But technically it should be a sine here, so sine of 45. And then set that equal to zero because the 500 is pulling straight to the right. So we can't solve this yet. So what we're gonna do next is we're just gonna do our next equation. We have two unknowns in one equation. We can't solve it yet. So some of the forces and the x is equal to zero is the next one we can do. So this is negative force AB again. It's pulling to the left. And this time we're going to attach a three-fifths to it. Now the 200 is pulling only in the y direction, so we can ignore it. So we can add force BC. Uh, this time we're going to do cosine of 45. Then we can add 500 and set that equal to zero. So now what we have is a system of equations here. We have two equations with two unknowns, and we want to cancel them out to find one of the solutions first. So there's a couple ways you can solve your system of equations here. What I like to do is let's notice something. We have the force BC sine 45 and a force BC cosine of 45. So because sine of, cos sine of 45 is equal to cosine of 45, these two equations are gonna cancel each other out. This is the same as this. One of them's negative and one of them's positive. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna add this equation to this equation and these two force BCs are gonna cancel out. So now what we're gonna get is negative force AB, four fifths minus force AB, three fifths minus 200. And then the force BC sine 45 and the force BC cosine 45 cancel. Now we have plus 500 is equal to zero. So let's simplify this. So these two add together to get negative force AB, seven fifths. And then these can get moved to the other side to be equal to negative 300. So then negative can cancel out. And now we're just left with 
force AB is equal to 300 times 5 sevenths, which is going to be 214 newtons, or 214 pounds. Cool. Now, is it intention or compression? Well, we got a positive number, and if we got a positive number, that means in our free body diagram, we drew it the correct direction. So, because we drew it in the tension and we got a positive number, we know that it's in tension. So there we go, we found force AB. Now we need to find force BC. So to do that, we can just plug it back into one of these equations. So let's do this equation. So we're gonna just plug in negative 214, because there's that negative there, times 4 fifths minus 200 minus force BC, sine of 45, is equal to zero. So if you move the force BC over, you get force BC is equal to a negative 214 times 4 fifths minus 200, and you have to divide it by sine of 45. Now what you're noticing is that these negatives are gonna stay negative, and we're gonna get a negative answer for force BC. So force BC is gonna be equal to negative 525 pounds. So because we got a negative answer for 525 pounds, that means that we drew it in tension, but it's supposed to be in compression. So this is the right answer, 525, but we need to instead say it's in compression. And you can get rid of this negative and say it's 525 pounds compression. Right, so there we go. We found our two forces. Now we just need to find the third force, AC. So let's go ahead and do that. I guess we can erase some of this stuff here. Maybe we can just solve for it right over here. We don't need that much more space. So let's try our free body diagram. So let's start at C because we know tension BC, or we know force BC, we just found that. So we just need those two unknowns left. So, so we're at C, we have, so we said BC is in compression. So this time, instead of drawing it in tension, we know it's in compression. So we can draw it pointing away from point C. And then this is just gonna become a 525 positive because it's in. Uh, compression, so it's pointing away. Uh, because C is a roller, it's going to have its reaction, C of 1. And then AC, let's draw out in tension. So this is force AC. We're drawing out in tension, it's pointing towards that. So this is our free body diagram. Now this one is going to be pretty easy to solve. Uh, also, this is 45 degrees. So we can go ahead and solve this easily doing some of the forces in the x is equal to 0. We're going to get negative force AC plus 525 cosine of 45 is equal to zero. Move one of them over, you get that force AC is equal to 525 cosine of 45, which is just equal to 371 pounds. And what do we get as a tension or compression? Well, we got a positive number because this is gonna be equal to a positive value. So because we got a positive value, that means we drew it correctly, and that means that it's in tension as we drew correctly. And so those are our three answers for the three forces. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you have more questions, check out my playlist where I have solved a bunch more of these problems. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.